This is Mr. Joe with Retrobotics, and today we're going to be talking about the W5100 Ether Shield and SD from Virtuobotics. First thing you'll notice is that it comes with a handy instruction guide, which will tell you what each pin does and how to connect it to your Arduino. And it'll give you some detail on where and how to load example code out of the Arduino IDE. All in all, you should be able to get your first internet project on an Arduino started in less than an hour using those instructions. Here's the actual board itself, very similar to other Arduino Ether Shields. Basically, you have your input here and you have the W5100 chip. You have the reset button which passes through so you can reset your whole circuit. And then you have the SD card reader here. These pins come on to keep it protected. And this guy pushes down through. The reason they have really long pins is because this connector is required. This allows it to work on both the Arduino Mega and the Arduino Uno. And you should be able to get it working on most other platforms as well, as long as they have a compatible header. Using this, we've had a lot of customers who have actually put together Arduino servers that basically use the SD card for storage and send uh, HTML files, pictures, and, and the like through that connection. I hope you enjoy it and look forward to hearing any comments or seeing any projects that you guys have already put together using this guy. Until next time, have a great day.